This is MCN News with your hosts, Pifford Piffington and Guy Greenleaf. This week's top stories. Government issues damning response to 200,000 signatures for a cannabis legislation petition. They'll never stop us. While campaigning in the legal marijuana state of Colorado with Senator Mark Udall, Hillary Clinton takes time out at a coffee shop and cracks a pot joke. Another thing you'll never find in her emails. Voters in the two earliest presidential voting states feel they should be able to set their own marijuana laws without federal interference. When asked, one voter responded, Leave us alone, Uncle Sam, you'll get your cut! New York is jumping on the marijuana bandwagon. Come January, you'll be able to legally medicate throughout the Empire State. Don't wait till then to see if you're eligible. Go to MarijuanaDoctors.com and make an appointment today with a physician licensed to prescribe you a card. Okay, we're going live to Guy Greenleaf on Pot Locator. Guy, are you there? I'm here, Piff. What's going on on Pot Locator, Guy? There's an awesome dispensary, Green Wolf Pre-ICO, located on 2950 Los Feliz Boulevard. The Happy Boulevard. Los Angeles, California. They've got grams from 10 to 15 Deutschmarks, Kush OG, Kosher OG, for my Hasidic friends, Venom OG, Yoda's Brain, Feel the Force. Pass and puff puff. Give him a visit if you're ever in the Los Angeles area. Just let him know your friends at Marijuana Doctor sent you. Back to you, Piff. Guy Greenleaf, ladies and gentlemen. The man's an animal. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Get ready for another high-smoking lifestyle. We'll venture into the lives of those who can afford to cultivate it, supply it to those who consume it. If you're looking to take a 420 vacation, look no further. Go to 420friendly.com and find all accommodations and lodging for your 420 vacay. All that and more on the next episode of Lifestyles of the Lion Who Bake It with me, Cannabis Leech. A huge cannabis farm has been found in Liverpool by firefighters tackling a blaze at a warehouse, afterwards which they prolong the wait at the drive-thru at the local McDonald's. We here at the Medical Cannabis Network hope that marijuana becomes legal not only in the United States, but all over the world. We want our politicians to see the uses that marijuana has and stop acting like they don't already smoke it. This is California Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom at the 2014 California State Democratic Convention, and we wish all our politicians felt the way he did when he made this speech. But for almost 20 years now, we sat back admiring our accomplishments while the world, nation, and states like Colorado and Washington have passed us by. It's time to legalize, it's time to tax, it's time to roll up and light a fat sack, light one up for a healthier America. Easier said than done, Gavin. Easier said than done. A wedding in Oregon last week did the first and coolest thing in history. They had a smoke tent with its very own bud sender. John and Whitney Elledge, those innovators, had weed instead of alcohol at their wedding. Everyone enjoyed it, including an 81-year-old woman who hasn't smoked since the hippies were hippies. Call Owen Wilson and Vinnie Vaughn, there's a wedding to crash. (laughs) All right, folks, that's the news. Roll it, light it, smoke it, but keep it safe and keep it legal. Good night.